Hi everyone, this is Duke and is here with a preliminary review of the division. I played the crap out of this beta this past weekend and I have a lot of things to say about it. Uh, there, there are many, many different guns and I gotta say for a, for a third person shooter, it feels really good shooting these weapons. It's crisp, it's predictable, it, you know, it's everything you'd expect. And nothing really changes for me from any other first person shooter I play other than the fact that you know I can kind of see my upper torso while I'm playing here. Um, I want to talk about the cover system, which is fantastic in this game. My biggest pet peeve when I'm playing a third-person shooter or a cover-based system is, you know, your character doesn't always respond the way that you want it to. You'll you'll dive into a wall, or you know, you're vaulting something you don't want to vault, or your character jumps out of cover when you're under fire. That doesn't happen here. And as you can see in this clip, you just kind of have to set your cursor onto where you want to go and you're prompted to hold X and your character just moves there like it's that easy and I find not having to worry about that you you know you have more time to think about shooting calls to your teammates and potentially using some of your other abilities one negative thing I do have to say about the cover system is that circle for some reason is vault whereas X is take cover and traditionally it's the opposite you know X is your jump and vault button circle is your crouch take cover button so I'm not sure why Ubisoft did this but I would hope in the in the full version of this game you were able to map those controls and you were not able to do that in the beta so that's just a point of concern I have the division will be a very unique RPG game because not only are you progressing your character and your skills and your talents and your perks but you're actually also progressing the city at the same time and there's a there's a tech wing there's a security wing and there's a hospital wing and each of those wings is almost treated like a special character where there's I think there's 10 upgrades for each wing at least there's 10 for the hospital wing which we saw in the beta you could only upgrade two in the beta but you could see the other eight and as you upgrade these similar to how you upgrade your character you unlock different perks and abilities and talents from the hospital wing and same goes for security wing and tech wing so it's it's almost like you're you're playing to rank up your character but you're also ranking up the city at the same time while we're talking about the talents and perks and abilities I wanted to bring attention to just how flexible the division is so take a game like destiny where you pick a character and then you pick a subclass and you're limited to the perks within that subclass the division isn't like that. The, in the division, you can mix and match, and you know get the best of both worlds, and really find what suits your needs and your playstyle. And on top of that, when you need to change your playstyle to adapt to specific situations, you're able to do that because of how robust this game is. Something I haven't touched on yet is just how real this game feels while you're playing it. Like you actually believe you're in the middle of an epidemic, and it's the little things that that kind of make you believe that and, and really help you immerse yourself in the game so for example you'll shoot an enemy and you can kill him well one of the other enemies will say oh no like Andrew's down you know you can be walking through the street and a lady will come up to you and she'll ask you for a can of soda which you can give her for XP so it, it's the things like that when you're not even necessarily in like an intense engagement that really remind you like just how much attention to detail Ubisoft put into this game and when you kind of look back on it, you know, after the beta is over, you just really see how much work was put into this game and it's very enjoyable to play through. The last thing I wanted to talk about is the Dark Zone. I spent about four to five hours in there and saved a couple of videos, but none of the gameplay saved. So I'm just going to have to show you guys other gameplay while I talk about and describe my experience in the Dark Zone. I joined the Dark Zone expecting some kind of like intense multiplayer experience you know I, I like fighting other humans just as much as anyone else and the entire time I was playing I kind of wished I was playing Trials of Osiris in Destiny or booting up a game of Domination in, in Black Ops 3 and the reason why is it's just it's chaotic but it's also slow paced at the same time and chaotic in the sense that as soon as you're marked as rogue and you have a timer everybody's coming at you all of the non-hostile agents are coming at you and it's pretty tough to defend yourself against eight to ten people even if you're in a group of four one of the reasons it's so tough to defend yourself is that when you kill someone they get a 30 second respawn timer and then they're given two options for, for different locations that they can respawn 
obviously if you just killed them and took their loot they're gonna wait 30 seconds and then they're gonna pick the location closest to you and then they're gonna come back and attack you well you have a five minute timer if you go rogue if you go rogue five so you could take out a group of two and then take out another group of two after that even if those engagements are isolated you know you're using your med packs you're using up your ammo you're using up your grenades and your, and your specials well those people that you just killed have stocked up and are full on everything and they're coming back at you for another round and your timer hasn't run out yet because you're still fighting other teams and it just makes it almost impossible to actually get out safe you don't have to survive a five minute timer to get your loot safe you can just extract your loot through a 90 second timer near an extraction point but as soon as you launch that that flare everybody's going to be coming at you because they know everyone else is going to be coming at you and they can double or triple team you so I just find it's a little too complicated and messy to be something that I'm going to want to do day after day and I just feel like the majority of people when craving a multiplayer experience are more likely to play Call of Duty or Destiny in like a match made lobby so just to sum things up this is a game that is absolutely worth buying you are going to have a ton of fun playing this game it shoots well the cover system is good I think the skill tree and you know not only upgrading your character but upgrading the city as well is going to be fun and it's going to be a great game to play with friends or to play on your own and I, I just I wouldn't let the dark zone deter you from buying this game you don't have to play the dark zone the campaign is going to be strong enough to carry this game and you know if the dark zone is for you then that's just going to be an extra bonus and uh, you know let me know what you guys think i'm sure a lot of people that are watching this video played the beta let me know if you agree or disagree in the comment section below and uh you know if this goes well i'm definitely going to be doing reviews of other games so uh, take it easy everybody